Here we come. <laughs> ready or yes. not, here we come. Here we come, people. Are you ready? We're coming for you. <laughs> right here, right now. <laughs> Yoga hit. <laughs> We're not feeling ready, but we're going to do it anyways, because that's what you got to do. You got to show up. <laughs> All right, yoga hit. Let's just get into it. So we're going to get started on in hero's pose. So if you have blocks at home pillows, you can put them underneath the glutes. Give yourself a little like chair up a little bit, but we just want to create some opening across the quads here. Allow the shoulder blades to slide down your back. And gently close your eyes. Taking a slow, long, deep inhale through the nose, filling up the lungs, expanding across the chest. Open mouth, exhale, let it go. Just starting to notice how you're doing today. How does the body feel? Where's the mind going? And checking in with your heart space. How do you feel emotionally? Looking at each pot part of our cells. With each inhale, creating space in any area of negativity, negative energy, negative thought, negative emotion, tension in the body. And with each exhale, allow yourself to release it into the space. Taking a full breath in. Open mouth, exhale, let it go. Focusing in on that natural breath here, feeling the lips. Breathing into the belly and chest. And taking these next few moments to set an intention for your practice today. Maybe it's something of your own that you're working towards. I invite you to take the intention of embracing change. Whether it's changes on your mat here today, maybe a posture feels different, better or worse. Maybe it's changes in your mindset, shifts in your perspective, changes in your body. Maybe it's changes in your lives, good or bad. Whatever it might be, instead of fearing change, embrace it. I know things being different can be scary, but on the other side of fear is always our best selves. So leaning into that when you think you should shy away. Start to deepen the breath, bringing that ujjayi breath into your mind's eye. Slight constriction on the back of the throat. Engage the lower abdomen and pelvic floor gently. Breath in breath out. Eyes open, inhale, arms reach overhead. Exhale, goal post those arms open up through the chest. Inhale, arms reach high. Exhale, twist to the right, left arm forward, right arm back. Inhale, brings you back through center. Exhale, twist left, right arm forward, left arm back. Keep the chest square to the front. Inhale, brings you back through center. Exhale, plant hands, roll over toes, press back, downward facing dog. Just bending to one knee or the other here. Noticing where the legs are at, the hamstrings might feel pretty dang tight right now. Yep, this is going to be an interesting <laughs> for me today. That's all right, but so what we personally believe here is when you're tight and sore like this, the best thing you can do for the body is move. Whether it's a hit class like we're doing right now, or walking, biking, whatever you need to do just to get a little bit more energy, blood, fresh oxygen to the muscles. Find your down dog, heels melt towards the earth. Full breath in. In a full deep breath out. Inhale, bend into the knees, look forward. Exhale, hop, step, walk, jump. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Drop the hips, utkatasana, arms come by ears, breath in. Exhale, bind hands behind the back. Inhale, open through the chest. Exhale, forward fold. Breath in. As you like, breath out. Bend into that left knee, straighten through the right. Twist to the right here. Inhale, brings you back through center. Straighten through the left, bend into the right. Exhale to the left. Inhale through center. Exhale, unbind the hands, fold. Inhale, lengthen. 
Exhale, plant the hands, left foot plants, right foot steps back, Andre Asana, arms reach high, breath in. Option here, maybe you press on the thighs, maybe you reach around, take the quad stretch, open through that front body a little bit more. You can use the ground to support you here if you want it. Full deep inhale. And a full deep breath out. Unbind that right foot, inhale, arms reach high, open through the chest. Exhale, supported warrior two, kickstand that right leg, tuck that left glute under. Gaze over that left middle finger, inhale, reverse. Exhale, supported warrior two. Inhale, reverse, gaze over that right shoulder, straighten through the left leg, right hand comes to the earth, supported Vashti Stasana. Extend through that left arm, outer blade of that back foot into the ground. Deep breath in, create the length. Exhale, maybe you take that quad stretch again. Left hand clasps that left foot. I think Law said it in another video. We're just loving quad stretches lately. I don't really love them, but I know I need it. Yeah. So I, I've been trying to take every opportunity to do it. So important. It counteracts. Run, <laughs> exactly. Slowly unbind that foot, deep breath in. Supported Vashti, engage the core. Left rib cage rapid on top of right, and as you exhale, windmill up and around, runners twist to the front, right hand plant, come to the ball of that back foot, left arm high, right knee off the earth. Full deep breath in, and a full deep breath out. Create length in the inhale, weight shifts into the outer blade of that back foot, step back, side plank. You can drop the back bottom knee, step that left foot back as well, deep breath in. Exhale, come through your high plank. Breath in, stay lifted, or exhale, drop those knees, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Full breath in. And a full deep breath out. Inhale, bend into the knees, look forward. Exhale, hop, step, walk, jump. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Drop the hips, utkatasana, arms come by ears, breath in. Exhale, bind those hands behind the back here. Open up through the chest, deep inhale, exhale, fold. Inhale, unbind the hands, lengthen. Exhale, right foot plants, left foot steps back, Anjayasana, arms reach high, breath in. Again, those hands can come to the thigh, lunge into that front hip flexor, so as. Maybe you take that quad stretch using supported or binding both hands around that back foot. Full deep breath in. And a full deep breath out. Slowly unbind that left foot. Inhale brings you back through center. Arms reach high. Exhale, supported warrior two. Kick stand that left leg. Open to the left side of your mat. Gaze over that front right finger. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Gaze over that left shoulder. Left hand comes to the mat. Extend that right arm, leg long. Right arm by ear. Breath in, and deep breath out. Maybe you stay here, maybe you take that quad stretch, right hand clasps that right foot. Opening through the front body, opening through that right front of the leg, deep inhale. This counteracts the way we sit and have a posture basically for a good portion of our days. Slowly unbind that foot, find that supported half, uh, supported Vashti Stasana, right arm by ear. As you exhale, core strength wins you, windmills you all the way up and around, runners twist, left hand plants, right arm high. Come to the ball of that back foot here. I think I'm going to be slurring my words in class today, guys. <laughs> right, breath in, one of those days, breath out. Back knee comes down to the earth if you want it, or come to the outer blade of that back foot. Step back, Vashti Stasana. So many variations to get here. Hips high, deep inhale. Exhale, come through your high plank. Squeeze the core. Hold, breath in. Fire up, breath out. Another full deep inhale. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing dog. Full breath in. And a full deep breath out. Inhale, bend into the knees, look forward. Exhale, hop, step, walk, jump. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. 
Inhale, reverse the swan dive. Come all the way up. Exhale, hands come heart center. Close the eyes. Take the moment to think of the one or two things you are grateful for right here, right now. Allowing this emotion of gratitude to fill your heart, to fill your mind, and lead you through the rest of your practice, the rest of your day. Embracing the shifts, the changes in the mind, in the body, and in all your life around you. Inhale, eyes open, arms come down by side. Let's do it, chew it, hit time. I'm ready. All right, so this first move, I'm going to show you right before we start each one. We have our frog squat. We jump it out lower, touch the ground, out lower, getting that heart rate up. All right, are you guys ready? Grab your drink, towel, water, weights, five pounds to 10 pounds. Different variations using them. And we're going to get right into it. In Let's go. Five, four, three, two, frog squats. Yes. Lost like machine with this right now. Our form's so good already. I love it. Starting out strong. <laughs> right? It's the way to do it. This is meant to get your heart rate up. It's meant to like, get you sweaty. It's meant to challenge yourself. We got 20 minutes, 50 seconds on, 10 seconds off of full hard work of giving it everything you have. Already halfway there, 25 seconds left right here, right now. Where do you want to take this? First round, always just figuring out how the body feels today. Just like that law, you got 15 left. Woo. Commit to your power, commit to the strength right now. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, sit it down on your mat, grab your weights. We have a sit up punch, so we sit it up, punch, punch, down. Sit it up, punch, punch, in three, two, one, right into this, nice. Keeping the core tight, pressing those heels into the ground, trying not to lift the feet or use momentum here. Right, lots of energy in those arms right here. No hip flexors in this. I had it as a bicep curl leg flutter, and then I was realized law, law's hip flexors don't like that. So I'm being nice to her today. We might do it next next week. Right. <laughs> so keep working hard here. You are already over halfway there. You got 15 seconds flying by on this second move. Spine is straight, engage the core, keep the shoulder blades sliding down back. Five, four, three, two, one. Roll it over your toes to your table. We got mountain climbers driving those knees into chest here as fast as you can go. In three, two, one. Right into it. Let's go. Now, if you want to make this a little bit harder, cross crunch your mountain climber. So right knee would go to left tricep, left knee to right tricep. Really target those obliques. Yes. Shoulders over wrists. I need you guys committing to yourself, committing to your power, committing to your strength, knowing you have what it takes to accomplish anything in this life, as long as you believe in yourself. So let go of those limiting beliefs and absolutely crush this right now. 20 seconds. Keep going. Let's do it. Nice law. Yes, yeah. I believe in you, right? I mean, can you increase that speed for the last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one? All right, we're going to grab those weights, find a goddess pose, sumo squat here. So we bounce to a deadlift. So we bounce, bounce, stand it up tall, raise the arms. Bounce, bounce, stand it up tall. Raise the arms right into it. Uh, right? Three, two, one. Let's do it. Yes. You're going to feel the, the lateral raise right there. Mm -hmm. Lightweights, guys. Right? Definitely lightweights. Unless, you know what? Hey, if, you can do more. if you can do more, do more. If you can get those 10 pounders, I, my arms would, I'd be crying. I would be crying. Right? <laughs> Exactly. But you can do more. Go for it. Mm -hmm. This is hard. But as to Lauren's point, if you're jumping into your low back for the arm raises, drop down in weights. Here we go. 15 seconds. Let's do it. Slowing that heart rate down. Keeping the core tight. 10, 9, 8. Keep it up. 7, 6. Great work. 5, 4. Let's go. 3, 2, 
One, standing tall. We have a twist jack squat right here. So we twist to the side, keep the chest forward. Then we squat, twist, squat, twist, squat. Squat, keep, in, the squat in the center. Twist to the side, keeping the chest forward. In three, two, one. Right into it. Let's go. This is going to target those obliques. Good. I want you to keep that chest forward, though, as you twist. Yep, as much as you can. So you're only oh, twisting through the hips. Yeah, make targets those obliques much more. Good. You feel that? Some dancing. Right. <laughs> and your and your hands are like woohoo. <laughs> I love this one. It's fun, but it works the glutes. It works the abs. Energy here. Already 15 seconds to go. Keep this up, everybody. Dig deep, breathe, connect, challenge yourself, get that heart rate up for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now we have a squat punch with a lunge in it. So we punch. No weights. No weights? Why no weights? So we punch, well. center, back, punch, center, back, center. Punch, center, back, center. Right into it. Three, two, one. Good. I mean, if you want weights, go for it. Punch, center, back, center. Good. Again, keeping the core tight, twisting left and right, engaging those arms as you're punching it out. Punch that shit out. Whatever has been bothering you, pissing you off, this is their time to release that. That's what I always use my punches for. Right? We've got a lot of punches today. All right. Let out the pent up stuff that we keep inside. Well, Remember, right? Not just about physical here, it's the whole body. Emotional releases as well. Keep going over halfway there. Breathe, connect. You got 20 seconds right here. Dig deep, then you got your first 30 second break. Keep working hard. Let's go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Here we go. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Amazing. 30 seconds right here. Drink towel. Tap those feet together. It goes by quick. It does. Ready for round two. Round two. This is getting right into it today. And what we do in round two is we level it up even more. Round one's about feeling it out, noticing the moves, noticing what you hate, noticing what you like. Round two is about going deeper. 15 seconds on your back. You have those sit up punches. Grab your weights. You have squats, guys. Five, four, Six. squat, uh, squat, jacks. Squat jacks. Five, <laughs> four, my bad. Three, two, one, side to side. Lauren has always a better. I have it written down in front of me, guys. And I still never remember. Ever. Every time I teach this class, I can never remember the order. I love lists. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm always all over the place. <laughs> but wherever you are, keep working in this squat, frog squat, I like to call them. Just like that. Keep the core tight. Hand taps the ground. Find the energy here to keep moving, to keep challenging yourself. Breathe and get that heart rate up right here, right now. Can you increase that speed and can you drop those glutes even lower? Halfway there, you got 20 seconds right now. Continue to work hard. You're starting to feel the glutes, feeling those leg muscles. Let's go, last 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Keep it up, four, three, two, just like that. One, now on your backs. Sit up punches. I think I just like these. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice. Keep the core tight. Energy in the arms as you punch forward. Using your strength here. Slowing it down, letting the heart rate fall. That's the purpose of this. We bring the heart rate up, then we bring it down in this nice interval motion working even harder by doing so and working harder after we're done. It continues to uh, keep that metabolic rate up. Find the injury. Remember, you can drop those weights all together if you don't want them. Core tight. Let's go. 
Keep it up. 20 seconds right here. Dig deep. <laughs> here we go. Last five, four, three, two, one. The tabletop. You have mountain climbers. Keep the core tight. Five, four, three, two, one. Right into it. Drive the knees into the chest. Increase that speed. How can you level this up? Always option to slow it down or hold that plank if you need to. Remember, we're working at a level that is challenging for us. Perhaps it's dropping the knees, driving knee to tricep. The most important thing is we do not give up on ourselves. We work hard, we challenge ourselves. We push our edges. Because on the other side of that edge, on the other side of the fear is where our life begins. The transformation is the growth. 20 seconds, let's go. <laughs> Level it up right here, increase that speed. Nice log, get those shoulders over wrists, guys. Keep the core tight, maybe a little rounding that upper back. Eight seven six five four three two one grab those weights that sumo bounce deadlift arm raise so many things there right heels in toes out we bounce stand it up extend three two one right into it stand it up extend get it low keep the chest lifted using the back muscles energy in the arms as you raise the arms parallel with the floor. Nice law. Keeping that chest lifted as you squat down. Bounce, extend, raise the arms. Halfway there, you got 25 seconds right here. And then you have two minutes left in this second series. That's it. Already over halfway there, guys. Crushing it today. 10, 9, 8, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Weights down. You have those squat twists. So squat in the center, twist to the side, chest stays forward, squat, twist. Three, two, one. Right into this. Yes, Law. Her little hands. I love them. I think my I kind of move them out. I go. Yeah, <laughs> I love it. You'll see us in the club when they open, doing this dance move. <laughs> Keep the Lawrence twist. Twenty seconds. Let's go. Keep it up, guys. Squat low here, and then really squeeze the core as you twist to target those obliques. Where this allows us twisting left to right to really lean out. The center body. Eight, seven, six, five, four. Keep it up. Three. Take it to the end. Two, one. Grabbing those no weights. Lunge. <laughs> we come through. Extend. Center. Back. Center. Three, two, one. Right into it. Good. We're going to call these. I haven't made a name for this. Law, do you have a name for this? Squat lunge punch. <laughs> We're just describing it. Right? <laughs> Perfect. I don't know that. What do you call it? Right? Hey, let us know in the group. <laughs> name this, name this move in the best one in the group. We're gonna name it that. <laughs> yep. I like it. Keep it up. You got 15 seconds. Dig deep. Find the energy right here. Nice luck. Keep that up. Tw again, twisting left and right, centering down. Squatting lower, but keeping that chest lifted. Five, four, three, two, one. 30 seconds. Already on the last round. Oh, Woo! I Crushing love the it. Last round. I know. Round two, I hate. I hate round one. After round one, I'm good. I'm golden. I'm like, great, I can do it. Round one, I'm like, even into that round two, I'm like, F that, I got two more. I got two more. Round three, I'm like, all right, Let's be a friggin' champ. You two guys right here, right now. All right, we have frog squat. I started off right this time. Yes, we did. All right, right into it. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, frog squat. <laughs> I know it's really, 
I think it's actually called like a jack squat or something, but I f feel like I look like a frog. Yeah, so. In my video, it's jack squat. Is it? Sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm always trying to find animals for something. Okay, it doesn't matter what you call it, right? As long as you're doing it. Exactly. Keep it up, guys. Work hard right here. Keep that chest lifted. You have 50 seconds of each move left. I want you to dig deep here. Challenge yourself even more. Let the sweat start pouring. Give it everything you have. 20 seconds left right now. Where do you want to take this? How can you challenge yourself more today? Where can you level up? And maybe it's physically, maybe it's mentally, letting go of limiting beliefs. Wherever you're at, find your power. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. On your back, sit up, punch. Make this the best punches yet. Three, two, one. Let's go. Nice. Wow. She's using those exhales at, to her advantage. Honestly, exhaling when you're doing the exertion tightens up the core for you and engages it anyways, working a little bit more hard, harder and protecting that low back. It's the little things that all add up on top of each other. And just like that, you are already halfway done of the second Move of the final round. You have this. You made it this far, guys. You do not quit on yourself now. You got four minutes to go after this. You can do anything for that amount of time. Last 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Keep it up. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Weights down. Find your table. You have those mountain climbers here pressing through the center of your back. Three, two, one. Right into it. As fast as you can right here. You have 50 seconds. Double time that speed. Honor your body. If it's not working for you, hold the plank or drop to the knees. But I want you to be working hard and asking yourself, are you slowing down? Are you stopping because it's challenging? And if that's the answer, it's not good enough. If it's painful, yes. If it's challenging, you got to keep going. We got to push through our edges, push through our limits, letting go of that fear. On the other side, find that greatness. Let's go. Right? How bad do you want? Exactly. And you have what it takes. Remember that. Last 10, 9, 8. Let's go. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Stand it up. Grab those weights. You have that sumo. Bounce, deadlift, arm raise in four, three, two, one. I know. Bounce, stand it up, extend. Good. I hope you guys are sweating because I'm sweating right now and I'm just talking to you. <laughs> Good. Keep the chest lifted. Nice law. Extend. Slow this down. Now, this isn't really about speed here. It's kind of about resisting gravity, even when you bring the arms down, resisting gravity when you bounce and then extend up. Building that strength, challenging ourselves even more here. 15 seconds, keep this up. Let's go, everybody. Breathe, deepen, connect. All things we want to be doing here. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, we have our squat twist. Remember, keeping the chest forward. Twist, squat, twist, squat. Lauren Three, twist. two, one. Lauren's twist. <laughs> I'm going to play, do the, the twist. Let's do the twist. And you're going to do this every time I play this from this point for the rest of our lives. All right? Deal. Make the deal. <laughs> right? Exactly. The laughing actually makes this not so bad. And it works more muscles. <laughs> it makes it harder. And when you're having fun doing it and working out and getting really effective results, what's better than that? Let's go. Keep it up. Increase that speed for the last 15. You got a minute left after this. I need you up leveling it right here, right now. You got this, guys. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, one. Uh, awesome. Our last one, that, one that lunge, squat, lunge, what you guys are going to name in the end with the punch, center, 
punch, center. Three, two, 50 seconds, let's go. This is it. This is it, everything you have. Leave it on your mat. Challenge yourself right here, right now. Nice luck, keep that up. Everything you work for in each class, what is it? What is your why? Because whenever you want to give up, whenever you want to quit, think of your why. Let your why lead you and be the most important thing that you have to support you through this. Because guess what? This stuff is hard. It's not easy. It takes work. But just because things are hard doesn't mean we can't do it. People can do hard things and we can do hard things together. Let's go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, done, high five. That's so much better. Good, got your energy up, right? Yeah, you never know. Fabulous. <laughs> right, so just grab your drink. Everyone actually, drink more water right now. I got, I'm gonna show you, I got this giant water bottle. It's 64 ounces, it cheers me on throughout the day. It uh, freaking is awesome and works. I finished uh, this. How much water are you supposed to be drinking? Half your body weight announces. Good job, Ma. <laughs> Don't think you're out of that number, right? You haven't figured it out yet. That's what we're aiming for. And if you can do more, go for it. Exactly. Keep hydrated. It's the number one thing you can do. And if you wake up in the morning and you drink a cup of water the first thing you do, that is life-changing. Gives you more energy, more stamina for the rest of your day. All right, enough on that. To your mat, top of your mat. Let's get into our flow. Stretch it out a little bit. Arms extend by side. Check back in with yourself. Taking a full deep breath in. Open mouth, exhale, let it go. Feeling the lips, finding that ujjayi breath. What I mean by that is you lift the pelvic floor gently. You engage the lower abdomen. Slight constriction on the back of your throat. Audible sound. Coming back to that intention of embracing the changes. Maybe even your emotions going through that hit. It's like a roller coaster, up and down, and that's all right. Let the shifts occur, and don't fear them. Inhale, arms reach overhead. Exhale, swan dive forward. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, plant hands, your high to low plank. Maybe you just step it back to down dog. Maybe you chaturanga through. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Full deep breath in, and a full deep breath out. Inhale, bend into the knees, look forward. Exhale, hop, step, walk, jump. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, ukatasana, drop the hips, arms come by ears, keep the core tight. Sizzle the legs together, right leg extends forward, one leg at ukatasana. Pulse this out for five, four, three, two, one. Breath in. Exhale, right knee above belly button. Keep the core tight. And as you exhale, take the quad stretch. So that right hand clasps the right foot. Extend out through that left side. Open up through the front body. Full breath in. And a full deep breath out. Unbind that foot, draw navel to spine, deep inhale. Exhale, that right leg opens up to the back of the mat, land in your warrior two. Gaze over that front left finger. Breath in. Breath out. Inhale, flip that front palm reverse. Exhale, side angle. Left arm to that left thigh. Right arm by ear. Keep the side body stretch. If you want a, a little more strength, left arm comes out to the side wall. Continue to twist open. Full breath in. And a full deep breath out. Right arm high, left arm down, deep inhale. Exhale, runners twist, right hand plants, left arm goes high. Breath in, and a full deep breath out. Create length on the inhale. Exhale, left hand surrounds that front foot, extended pyramid fold over that left leg. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. 
Inhale, bend into that front knee, back knee comes down to the earth. Arms reach high, Anjaneyasana. And as you exhale, extend arms behind you, open through the chest. This is extremely uncomfortable for me at least. And it looks so simple, but it really creates space in the front body. Maybe you gaze up, breath in. And a full breath out. Draw navel spine straighten through, arms come by ears, deep inhale. Exhale, come to the ball of that back foot. We're coming to our warrior three. Maybe use glute strength to bring you there completely. Maybe hands tempt the earth or the highest level of your support. Find your warrior three. Dial that right hip down, breath in. And a full deep breath out. Full deep inhale. Exhale, left hand plants, right arm goes high. Open it up, half moon. Stay here or take that quad stretch variation. Full breath in. And a full breath out. Slowly unbind that right foot, deep inhale. Exhale, standing split. Fold over that left leg. Breath in. Exhale, right foot meets left, forward fold. <laughs> Good. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, plant hands, step back. You're high to low plank here. Chaturanga through or step back to your down dog. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. We just have that other side before we take it down. Inhale, bend into the knees, look forward. Exhale, hop, step, walk, jump. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Drop the hips, Utkatasana, arms come by ears, breath in. And as you exhale, weight shifts into the right foot, one-legged Utkatasana. Balance it out. Maybe little pulses for five, four, three, two, one. Deep inhale. Exhale, come to stand, one-legged Tadasana, lift out of the right glute. Find your dristi, and that means your balance, your focus point. Stare at something, not moving, and then take your quad stretch. Left hand to that left foot, extend out through that right arm. Full breath in. And a full breath out. Draw navel spine, slowly bring it back through center. Exhale, that we open up to the left, left foot steps back, land in your warrior two. Gaze over that front middle finger, tuck the right glute under. Find your breath. Inhale, flip that front palm reverse. Create the length, lunge into that front knee even more. And as you exhale, side angle, right arm to right thigh, extend left arm by ear. And then decide if you want to stay here or extend that bottom arm to the side wall to bring even more core strength in. Full breath in. And a full deep breath out. Left arm high, right arm down, deep inhale. Exhale, runners twist, left hand plants, right arm goes high. Breath in. Breath out, hamstring towards the ceiling, deep inhale. Exhale, right hand surrounds that front foot, extended pyramid. Inhale for length. Exhale, fold. Inhale, length. Exhale, fold. Inhale, slowly bend into that right knee, Anjane Asana. Back knee comes to the earth, arms reach high, breath in. And then exhale, arms extend behind you, open through the chest. Embrace the uncomfortability here. Maybe the changes in the breath pattern. Draw navel spine, inhale, arms come by ears. Then roll over that back toe. Maybe use that glute strength to bring you up or hands can be supported. Find your warrior three. Maybe on your highest level of supports here. Find your balance, breath in. And a full deep breath out. Dial the left hip down. Full breath in. Exhale, half moon, right hand plants, left arm goes high. Open up the chest to the side wall. Maybe you take the quad stretch here. Full breath in. And a full breath out. My stability on this side is a little bit sub or different or less than the other one today. And that's okay. Day to day, it can change. It's part of the process. Slowly unbind that left foot, deep inhale. Exhale, standing split, crown of the head to the ground. Left foot meets right, inhale, find length. Exhale, plant hands, step back, your high to low plank here. Fabulous work, everybody. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing dog. 
Inhale, drop down to the knees. And as you exhale, so hips stay over the knees or just taking it through our puppy pose, stretching the shoulders, the arms, and the front body. Forehead, maybe chin comes down to the earth. Your arms did a lot today. Allow yourself to create some space here. Continuing this openness of the front body. Kind of like we were speaking of before, counteracting the day-to-day -day movements of kind of hunching forward. So important for us to do. Breath in. And a full deep breath out. Breath in. Breath out. And then gently pressing into those palms. Bringing the heels to the left or the right, just rolling over those toes, hugging those knees into your chest, giving yourself a squeeze. Inhale, happy baby, peace fingers bind, big toes, outer blades of the feet behind the thighs here. Rocking from side to side. Breath in. And a full. And extending those legs up to the ceiling for a moment. And then bending to the knees, soles of the feet come down to the earth. Left ankle over that right knee. Open up through that left thigh. Or maybe you interlace hands behind that right thigh. Bring that left shin closer to the chest. Flexing through both feet. Full breath in. And a full deep breath out. Breath in. Breath out. Gently extending that right leg forward, keeping that left knee bent. Right arm comes out by your ear, rolling over onto that right side. Take the quad stretch. So we're balancing on that right side of your body. Maybe that right knee is bent to keep a little bit more balance. Open through the chest and heart here. Full breath in. And a full deep breath out. Unbind that. Slowly brings you back through center. Soles of the feet back onto the earth. Right ankle above that left knee. Interlace hands behind that left thigh. Bring that right shin close to the chest. Just see what you can release here, what you can let go of with each exhale, with each breath. Allow yourself this emotional release. And that's what these postures are for. Again, it's not just physical. It's openings across the chest through the heart so you can release those unwanted, bogged up emotions that no longer serve you. Breath in. And a full deep breath out. And then slowly extending that leg to the back, top of your mat. Rolling over onto that left side here. Bending into that right knee, taking the quad stretch. Using that left bent knee for a little bit more balance if you need it. Breath in. And a full deep breath out. Unbinding that foot. Inhale brings you back through center. Arms come out like wings. Knees over hips. Exhale. Twist the legs over to the right. Gaze goes over that left side body. And draw our navel to spine. Inhale. Knees come back up through center. Exhale. Legs over to that opposite side. Gaze over that right side body. Full breath in. And a full breath out. Draw navel to spine. Inhale brings you back through center. Taking any last movements that you need here. Doing what feels right to you in this moment. And then extending one leg to one corner of the mat, the opposite leg to the opposite corner. Giving yourself these next few moments to just be here in stillness. Taking a slow, long, deep inhale through the nose, filling up the lungs, expanding across the chest. Open mouth, exhale, let it go. Shavasana.
just as the world around us changes and evolves, so do the circumstances and situations in our lives. We live in a universe that is alive, vibrant, and constantly evolving. Change is the way in nature, the universe, and the divine moves us through each period of our lives into destiny. We are led to our next lesson, our next adventure. There's no need to deny change, to fear it, or fight against it. Change is inevitable. Just as the earth is constant motion and transformation, so are we. Take your place in the universal dance, the universal rhythm. Allow change to happen. Work with it as your life unfolds. Sometimes change comes in one smashing moment like a volcanic eruption. Other times it happens more slowly. The way the winds and rain sculpt bridges out of canyons. Learn to trust your body. It's signs, signals, warnings, and excited proclamations. We let the gathering clouds warn us of impending storms and we learn to study the predict the tremors in the earth. In much the same way, our body can function as a barometer for our soul and its place in the constantly changing and evolving universe. You are open now, more sensitive than you've been before. Change is coming, it's here. You can feel it in the air, you can feel it in yourself. Thank your body for helping you. Thank the universe for what it's about to do. Thank the universe because change will bring you closer to love. Embrace change. Start to deepen the breath. Noticing the subtle shifts in the mind, in the heart, in the body. Bringing gentle movements of fingers and toes. Perhaps inhaling arms overhead for a full body stretch. Exhale, knees into center, giving yourself that compassion, that love, that kindness, that hug. Then rolling over to your right or left side, even fetal posture. Giving yourself to set the rest of your day off right. Taking a full breath in. And a full deep breath out. Embracing change, knowing that it's in the air and that it's nothing to fear. It's on the other side of fear, on the other side of change is that transformation, the evolution. Embrace it into that top hand comes an easy seated posture inhaling arms overhead one last time exhale through the mouth <sighs> hands from heart center as always I thank each and every one of you practicing with us today live the light be the light spread the light the divine light in me honors and respects the divine light in each and every one of you as we bow together say namaste friends Namaste, everybody. Great work. I hope you feel sweaty, right? Um, keep up with the journal, your nutrition, drinking your water. Good point to maybe do some focused breath right after this workout or meditation right now if you haven't already done it. Take five minutes for yourself now. And other than that, we will see you next time on your mat. Great point. Pairing habits mm -hmm. is one of the best things for me to stay yeah. Exactly. <laughs> That's what we want. <laughs> All right. Peace.